Some Chippewa Valley education students were upset by news a little farther from home, but they decided to create an installation on UW Stout's campus to show their support from Wisconsin. News 18's Julia Lopez has the details. It started all the way in Texas. Governor Greg Abbott released a letter declaring sex change procedures, like surgeries or hormone treatments, to be child abuse. And he said teachers must report kids who are transitioning and their parents, or they'll face criminal charges. Some Stout students say, as future educators themselves, they're deeply upset. A teacher should be somebody you should be able to confide in, and, and you can't do that now in Texas. So. All around the nation, people were affected. So they talked about it. And in one art ed class, they began asking if there was something they could do with their frustration. I was saying to my students, you know, I need to do a better job of shortening that distance between what I do and what I say. We wanted to make a big statement. They decided to gather some friends, take some LED strip lights, and send a message. Turning the library space into, you know, this awesome advocacy. Now, after a covert trip to the library. I know that we didn't get permission. Sometimes it's a little easier to ask for forgiveness than it is permission. The trans pride flag can be seen across campus. They say it symbolizes what their future classrooms will be. It's a space where, you know, everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome to ask questions. I want my future students to know that we do love and care about them. Just give them a space where they don't have to think about the persona they have to put on and not necessarily push them in any uncomfortable capacity. If I were a history teacher now, it would be important to talk about things like this and keep, keep my students informed. For now, they say they think their message was received. We might be on a different side of the country <laughs> and very far away and in little rural Wisconsin, <laughs> but we still heard their voices. We promise that our future will be more empathetic for you. And that's how causes get started. That's how voices are heard. When you're responding to a legislator who, who sees things, in my opinion, sees things in black and white, to present something that's not just shades of gray, when we're talking bright color, maybe we should look at the world in that way. Now, News 18 did reach out to UW Stout's administration, but they said they have no comment as they seek further details.